Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rachel Vindman. I'm Jasmine Clark. I'm Amanda Weinstein. And this is the Suburban Women Problem. It's pretty obvious the GOP has a suburban women problem, and we're here to talk about it. I'll tell you what, I've seen a lot about Lauren Boebert in my newsfeed. I don't know about you guys. Um, I have seen too much of her. Oh my gosh. And I'm mean, like literally and figuratively. I know. It's, I'm a little uh, grossed out actually. <laughs> but I also think that it just kind of points to the hypocrisy. I have seen so many people on the right literally twisting themselves into pretzels trying to make this okay while also making everything else bad. And it's like, oh, well, she's a human being and humans make mistakes. I'm like, oh, unless those humans are like anyone that doesn't agree with you, then they need to be burned at the stake. But I, it's also been a masterclass in like, just, just how to um, be as dissonant as possible cognitively. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> I don't know if that's healthy. Uh, I don't know if that's like a wise thing to, but I just like the calm strategy of like, deny, deny, deny. I didn't do that. That didn't happen. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. There's a tape. There's video. Okay, I, I'm going to go book, um, I'm going to go book the moms for Liberty yeah. conference. That'll help it. And she oh literally God. did this guys. And also I think she got bangs. And I mean, if you mm. have bangs, that's fine for me personally. Bangs are always a bad idea. Do not get bangs to try to get yourself out of a bad PR incident, I think you will regret it. It's something you should put a lot more thought um, and you know, contemplate. Yeah, I don't know that the bangs are going to get her out of um, vaping in front of a pregnant woman who asked her to stop and she wouldn't, or like subjecting everyone around her to just like fondling her boyfriend in public. Like, I don't know that bangs can cover all of that. I, so they just aren't long enough to cover that kind of. I'm going to hurt myself rolling my eyes so much, but <laughs> I, I just don't. I mean, there's so much there. Now it comes out that the guy is a Democrat. He has like a gay friendly club, and he's hosted drag queen events. Wait, I, I mean, it's just all of that. Nothing what? is. <laughs> I, oh, I you know, know. I didn't it's know that true. either. <laughs> yes, he owns a bar in Aspen. Oh, and he has hosted, um, you know, some drag queen events, um, and. Which tells you, like, they don't care. Well, he's a Democrat. I mean, I think it's just like, and hey, good for her. Maybe he'll rub off on her and she'll change her worldview. But I don't think she will because it's all about making money. It's not about true values. And yeah, I mean, I think that's the point, though. They're not, mm -hmm. it's not authentic. Like the feigned, I am so holy and I have these higher morals. It is not authentic. And there's a lot of stuff they claim to care about that they clearly don't when you look at their actions. And I think one of it is this like GOP rebranding about oh my gosh. <laughs> pro baby and like pro woman by doing these things. Like they don't actually care about babies or women in, in Ohio. It's all about they're protecting women by denying healthcare access like, no, just because you say it doesn't mean you're doing it. And the truth is you don't really care about babies or women. And like, there's a lot of things that we probably should agree on, like giving people access to health care and child care and Absolutely. maternity leave. But the truth is or the GOP food. never Did you guys see that, that, that piece in WAPO? It was, it was like some person from each side and they were talking about ways that we can support women who are forced to have babies and... I mean, it was like all good ideas that we should have anyway, but except without the forced birth part. I think we should have those things and let people make decisions. But when I was reading this list, I mean, some of the stuff was just ridiculous. It was like, we should let people take their leave from job to job. And that way women save up their leave. I mean, just stop. If you are a young teenage mother, I'm going to just go ahead and guess that you don't have leave from have yeah, any leave. Any leave. Um, right. Yeah. That's no. like, yes. yeah. And then, nope. you know, so there, but also other people don't have that because we don't even have basic worker protections that allow these things. I mean, exactly. it's so like, tell me you don't understand without telling me you don't understand because it's like, <laughs> to come from that point from either side is just so out of touch. And also, why don't we have those things anyway? Why, why is that not just completely basic? So it was depressing to me to read the piece because it was like, oh, we, 
these are very basic things that exist in other countries and we don't even have this. But it's just so misguided because the the basis, the foundation of it is, hey, if we're going to force people to give birth. And to me, I'm like, yeah, that's the problem. Like none of the other things that you're talking about, the solutions that you are proposing are awesome by themselves. But the problem isn't like the problem isn't that the problem is the forced birth. And so that's why you, Amanda, you talked about the rebranding and I went on MSNBC and uh, talked about this with Alicia uh, Menendez and we had this conversation and I'm just like, you know, you can call it whatever the freak you want to call it. You can call it banana pudding for all I care. It's not (laughs) about what you call it. It's about what you're doing. And Mm -hmm. honestly, calling anything pro baby when it comes to GOP is laughable because they genuinely do not give a damn about these babies once they are born. And all of their policies actually point to them not caring about whether that baby eats, whether that baby has health care, whether that baby has shelter, whether that baby, you know, goes on to a public school that is funded and has resources, whether that baby can eat when they go to school, you know, whether that baby's parents can actually make a decent living and make a decent wage. They don't care about any of that. So girl, you're firing me up. I mean, this is like, I mean, this is it. Like, don't tell me, show me, show me, show me, show me. Don't tell me what you want to do. Don't tell me what you believe in. You show me with your actions and the actions always say they do not support women, families, and children and babies. And that's what women, like, this is what we do. Like when our kids come down and say, I clean my room. I mean, that's what I was thinking of. I'm not going to lie. That's actually what was the back of my head. Yeah, we're, exactly. we're going to need to check that, right? Let's see if you actually, let's see the actions, right? When your kid says, I'm responsible enough to get a dog or a new pet or a guinea pig, like, mm, I don't know. Let's check out the actions. I'm not just going to buy them at their word. Like, I am not going to buy the GOP at the word of, oh, I support babies. I support women. Like, hmm, let's go see. Nope. Room's still dirty. It was Ronald Reagan who said, trust but verify. He said it in Russian, and I can't remember how to say it in Russian, so I'm not going to try. But he said that, trust but verify. And that is how I parent, and that is how I judge my politicians and pretty much anyone in my life. I mean, you really shouldn't have anyone in your life if you know you can trust what people say, but you need to verify that they're going to stand by their word. And the right. execution and the following through is a really important thing. And I mean, that's just not what we see. And that's why it matters the Lauren Boebert to the world, their actual behavior and the way that they carry out their lives, because the way they will be in the small things when they're going to a musical, when they think no one is watching and no one cares will be how they govern and how they represent. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, at the end of the day, yes, trust, but verify. I also think it's just important for people to realize that women are not stupid. And I really think that this rebranding is a way of saying, oh, if we just call it that, then women are stupid enough to believe it without us ever actually having to follow through. And I'm like, we're not idiots. We are not idiots. We see what you're doing and we can vote accordingly. And so you can call it, like I said, you can call it whatever you want, but uh, you know, your rebranding isn't going to work. I, you know, we can still smell the crap, even if you, even if you cover it with something pretty like a flower. (laughs) 